What's dingin? <laughs> So in this video, we're going to be going from Blender into Omniverse, and I'm going to show you some tips that I've discovered that I'm constantly discovering um, just to help you guys move along that process faster than me. So let's first talk about the Omniverse Exchange Blender add-on that you can download for free. Um, you've got a whole bunch of options here. This is the main option that I use is baking textures. Uh, so if I want to bake each individual one, this is what I kind of use because it's just, it works so simple. It's just one click compared to doing it manually. If you've seen my baking bread tutorial, yep, where this one it just kind of smashes it out very quickly. Um, the more important thing is, is if you're not going to be baking textures and you want to create your own textures, you need to use image textures themselves. There's no color ramps, there's no add shaders, there's no mix shaders, it needs to be textures. You need to look at Omniverse as if it's kind of like a game engine. So for those of you who have played with Unity, you know that you can only put the albino, 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 whatever that's called, specularity, normals, you can only put the textures in, you can't create complex materials. Unreal Engine, you can, um, but don't look at Omniverse like that. I think you can do things within Unreal Engine and the materials will come across the Blender to Omniverse and, and not so much. So this is why I strongly recommend applying textures to everything. So for instance, the screen is just a simple emission. The metal is like that. Now thinking about it, I probably should do the emission through the principal BDSF to see what it's like. But if we go N, I am going to select the screen. Let's go into the Omniverse add-on. We can go Omniverse PBR. And then this is technically the material setup that should be working for Omniverse. Let's talk about exporting from Blender into Omniverse. Now, I am having mixed results with the export USD. If you need to export it, file export FBX. Do not use OBJ or you will have problems galore. Trust me, I know. So if you're exporting as an FBX, we can select whatever. The path mode will set to copy and make sure we enable that. Now what this does is it'll grab all our textures that we've got assigned to the FBX, plug it into there, and then when we go ahead to import it into Omniverse, you will see, click on the material, we can see that our, our libido map is there, roughness, uh, and the inclusion's not in there, but most of our texture maps are in there. So that's why it's important to do that option, or you can just do it manually and come in later and throw in the textures that you're gonna be using onto this material. If we kind of wanna lighten up um, this whole scene, let's go into screen. I'm gonna click on the material. I know that I created an emissive color, a little bit of a blue blue. There we go, something like that. Enable emission. Lovely jubblies. I am going to go the light as well. And we're going to increase that. Where's my emission one? Did I go past it? Nope. Enable. We will make it white. Maybe we'll give it just ever so slight blue tinge. And if we come up into real time and go into interactive path tracing, you can see how how it's uh, the lights are being illuminated now. Um, we've got some lights here down the bottom. Let's go our main yellow light. I'm going to increase that, turn on emissive, let's go into a yellow, yellow, something like that, and I might increase that as well. Nice, and you can see that we're getting some quality results with barely doing anything. Now, if you have to use OBJ, you've got a lot of work ahead of you, so let's go find our OBJ. Where are you, OBJ? There it is. It is it comes in at the wrong scale. So an OBJ file needs to come in at 100. You need to increase the scale. There we go, where are we? And as well, let me just quickly change this back to real time. You can see that everything is butchered. So this is where we're gonna come in to have proper geometry as well to make it look nice. You need to make sure that you've got kind of like game engine style geometry, so no dirty, massive um, edge loop. So if we kind of come into here and I select this piece, you can see how I've got that selected and that's one giant piece. You can't have that, you've got to look, have crisp. With the FBX, it seems to be quite a bit more forgiving, um, but that is the reason why I do not recommend 
OBJs. Now there's definitely gonna be more videos coming in about Omniverse, so if you haven't already, just subscribe. I mean, you know? <laughs> Some of the videos coming up is all about the physics simulation um, and don't forget to check out Deadset Digitals and all those animations that I'm putting up there. So if you have any questions, please leave them below. I... Mm. <laughs>